everyone's special. Everyone has these abilities, but this is the devices clicking the neurons, getting everything firing, making it happen. And um, that's the exciting part. And then including my dreams. I mean, geez, you know, I've had pretty good dreams. I mean, I, I'm, I'm a pretty vivid dreamer. But now I put one of my devices under my pillow and typically one at my foot of the bed. I'm kind of keeping one of them close to my knee so it continues to heal. But, you know, my dreams have just skyrocketed. Hey, Peggy, thank you so much for coming to spend some time with me today. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Very excited. Oh, that's so cool. So can you just share with us a little bit to get started of where you were in your health journey prior to coming to QHS? Sure. Uh, I think as with all of us, we have a few issues and it may be, you know, they're not so apparent, um, you know. I think appearance-wise, I look, oh, I'm, I'm in good health, and I am in good health. Um, but I do have a skin rash that I've had for nine years. Um, it's mainly in my midsection. And I had a biopsy done several years ago, and, and mostly my midsection, but I had it on my elbows, my wrists, and um, knees, and lower thighs. And it's called granuloma annulaire. And they don't really know what causes it, but basically the translation of that is raised bumps in a ring pattern. <laughs> and, oh. uh, I know, big long name for, you know, just tell me it's raised bumps in a ring pattern. So it's not contagious. Uh, it's not painful. It's not itchy or anything like that, but it's, uh, I, it, I would like it to go. So, um, you know, that's one thing that's happened. And I do notice that it is getting better. Now, they told me, they said, oh, this will disappear in two years. Well, nine years later, it's still here. Um, so um, the device, the QT Wave device is helping with, um, it's, it's, it's not as dark, it's less. Um, I don't even notice it on my elbows or my wrists anymore. So it is helping. So big plus. Um, I also have inflammation in my knees. You know, I've had two scope surgeries on my left knee and on my right knee. And most recently, I played pickleball because I was feeling so good because we tend to overdo it. Uh, I was playing pickleball and I twisted my knee and I, um, I'm pretty sure I tore the meniscus again. So that was three weeks ago. So I've been nursing that back and I have had one of the devices, you know, strapped to my knee pretty much. Um, at least half the day and I, things are getting better. And then I was talking to Annette, one of our coworkers at QHS. She said, Oh, you have the other device, put them at kind of an angle and strap them to your knee. And you'll notice that things should get better. And I was like, it's better right now. I'm sitting here and I have both of them strapped to my knee and um, big improvement, huge improvement. I was even able on the twine zoom call last night, get up and dance. So that's, that's major. Um, oh, cool. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Good so for it, you. It, it makes a difference. They're making a difference in our lives. You know, I'm overweight by 20 pounds. I haven't seen any weight loss, but I'm, I'm hoping when I come out of the, the QR that, you know, that's going to go to, but, you know, it has to do with, you know, eating right and sticking to it and uh, not going back to old patterns and, and those things. Um, and I have a little bit of hearing loss in my right ear. I haven't noticed any improvement in that. I just went and have my hearing tested. So this will be an interesting thing. So two weeks ago, I had a test. They said, yeah, you could probably use a hearing aid in that one ear. Um, you know, it's up to you. Um, I told the, the tester, I said, hey, you know, I'm going to be going through the QR and um, I wouldn't mind having another test done when I come out. And he was thrilled. He was thrilled to hear about the information about quantum healing systems and, um, you know, the potential because he has some hearing loss, too. And uh, was like, oh, yeah, come back in here. We're going to do another test. So that was kind of exciting, too. Of course, I have toxins, mercury, aluminum. Um, you know, my eyesight, it's plus six. Um, sometimes I wear readers on top of that. Um, haven't noticed any difference in eyesight improvement, but a lot of those other things, definitely detoxing and some of that stuff, definitely seen some improvements. And um, I'm happy with the results of my knees. So 
had a few things going on, nothing real major, but, um, you know. Well, how long have you had your device? So I've had it since uh, the 1st of September, 2022. Okay. So you've seen these improvements in just six months, which is, is pretty good. And how quickly that you're seeing the knee improve. I'm seeing a lot of pain stories of success. So perhaps it's really good at reducing inflammation. Yes, that's my my thoughts. And the toxicity too. I think it's doing uh, its job there. Um, just ridding your body. Um, I, I remember Cindy, Cynthia telling us a story about how she went through the um, the odor weeks. <laughs> the what? <laughs> the odor. Like where your body odor and it's where your body is detoxing. And she was talking about this. And I'm like, well, I haven't seen that. Well, a few weeks back, I started like, oh, my God, this body odor. This is what Cynthia was talking about. Your body starts detoxing. And um, and it's just coming out your sweat glands. So the device is definitely helping out. And, oh. and some other people have talked about that, too. So I don't know if it's like at a certain point, and I think everybody's body is different. So whether it's at, you know, six months or five months, I think you eventually at one point will go through it. Right. I have a sauna, so perhaps that will help because that will actually flush and pull out. And, you know, another thing that's helpful for that, I'm, I'm sure you already know this, is bentonite clay and charcoal, activated charcoal Yes, will help grab hold of those toxins and get them out so that they don't get stuck. And, you know, isn't it like when they get stuck petrifying? Yeah. Yeah. So I do use the activated charcoal too. And then I also, um, cilantro or coriander, they're also good herbs to eat like a lot of, cause they'll like grab a hold of those toxins, grab a hold of the metals and help, you know, flush them out of your body. Um, so yeah. definitely eat a bunch of that in my salad. And that's probably bringing out some of that too. You know, the, the odor part of it. <laughs> As it eliminates, let's face it, elimination doesn't smell so good all the time, right? Right. <laughs> One way or another. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. So how about moving forward now? So we have the opportunity next month to spend some time and go into the QARC in Salt Lake City. So what the cool thing to me is we have all this accumulated wisdom and knowledge that we've gained through the years. And now we get to bring that forward into a youthful body. It's like a do-over. What are you going to do? How's your life going to be? Well, I'm, I'm excited about um, the active anyway, but even getting more active again. You know, I'm playing softball. I do pick a ball. But, um, you know, to get out and run, not have the knee problems, um, you know, I plan on still being with QHS and opening up healing centers uh, afterwards. Um, I, I, the possibilities are just grand, just to feel 100% whole again. I'm looking forward, so forward to that. And uh yeah, maybe sport in a bikini. I never was into bikinis, but hey, you know, if I'm young again, my joint <laughs> happen. Probably not. I was never really into that before. I was just thinking after you come out, you know, you go to the QR with a certain, you know, clothes size and you come out and I'm like, okay, everything's going to be falling off or, you know, are we going to have a whole set of clothes there? <laughs> you know, how do you know what size you're going to be when you come out? <laughs> I know. Right. Right. That is a thing. I just bought some new clothes to wear to, you know, Salt Lake city that will look good and, you know, business type snappy looking clothes and they weren't cheap. And I'm like, uh Oh, <laughs> what's going to happen. <laughs> so right. that's a really good point. But Cynthia said, don't worry about it. <laughs> Yeah, so. I've, held, I've decided I'm not going to buy any more clothes. I'm just going to just, I have plenty of clothes. We Most of us all have an excessive amount of clothes. So I'm not going to buy anything until, you know, afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I had to realize when she said that the other day to us, I'm like, okay, this is, this is the last clothing I'm buying as I'm sitting here looking at it. 
Um, okay, so you're excited to continue playing sports, to run again, to actually work with QHS and open up some wellness centers. Anything else? Are you going to do anything differently than you did the first time around? Well, yeah, for sure. I mean, we learned through. I have to say, I've lived a really good life. And, you know, I've been on the spiritual path. And so that part will continue my spiritual content connections, um, my desire, my learning desire to just I can't get enough knowledge. It's just like I'm like a sponge. I want more and more and more. And, um, you know, to have that time to read all, you know, I have stacks and stacks of books and um, to have even more of that mental capacity and that clarity. Um, to absorb more knowledge. And I've always been pretty psychic too. So, you know, in that aspect, you know, my psychic abilities with the QT device, I think has even excelled, but I can't wait when I come out. I mean, you know, and I'm, I'm kind of telep, you know, I have a little bit of telepathic abilities and all that, but I just think it's going to be like off the scale. Like we don't, it's, it's just going to be so natural for us. And our communications, everything's just going to be easier. Um, so definitely looking forward to that. I'm so glad you brought that up. So two questions based on what you just said. So do you feel like, because I've heard that the personal device will actually decalcify the pineal gland. So do you feel like that that has improved your gifts? Yes, I do. I can, I can tell the difference. Um, just um, my senses, all the senses are like on fire. I can for sure when I'm outside in nature, um, I have a lot of gifts. And I, am, I just thank God that these were brought to me. And I can be outside in, in natural sun um, on a clear day. And, and this has gotten even better with the device. So I'll be outside and I'll be looking out and I see holograms. So holograms, and I see it within the holograms, they're almost, almost like a labyrinth inside of them, like a path. And some of it is sort of like, uh, you know, our, our Q um, logo. At first, when we had the original Q logo, I'm like, oh, my God, that looks like the holographs I'm seeing. And so it's almost like a, a divine path. I'm just like, ooh, that's a, an interesting coincidence. <laughs> But I do see the, the holographs, especially in reflections or sometimes around um, very beautiful flowers when they're in bloom. And um, I know there's a message within that. And I also can see, you know, the energy flow and I can interact outside when it's a sunny day with the energy. It's I, almost like nanoparticles, but I can see those and they're typically white and flowing. And then when you can start interacting with those. So as you're kind of in a meditative state, looking out in nature against the trees and against some of the bushes, you can um, interact with those and then bring them into you to help heal you. And they're happy to, you know, they're, they're all excited to, to, to interact with us when we do this. The same with orbs too. I mean, I can bring orbs in. I've, I've taken pictures before of orbs where there's been nothing. And I can prove this. I have the, the, you know, the photographs. There's, I take a picture with a, cell phones have a difficult time picking up on this. It's typically like one of the Sony Sure Shots, one of the older type of cameras. Don't think any thoughts go outside with a clear thought. Take a, take an image, just a few images. And then you just take a deep breath and say, I would like all the orbs to come in and show yourself to me and then take the picture and then look on the screen. And they're just like filled all over the layer all around you. I mean, it's, it's an amazing exercise. Anyone can do it. I'm not special. Everyone's special. Everyone has these abilities, but this is the devices. Clicking the neurons, getting everything firing, making it happen. And um, that's the exciting part. And then including my dreams. I mean, geez, you know, I've had pretty good dreams. I mean, I, I'm, I'm a pretty vivid dreamer. But now I put one of my devices under my pillow and typically one at my foot of the bed. I'm kind of keeping one of them close to my knee so it continues to heal. But 
you know, my dreams have just skyrocketed. And I'm one who journals. If I if I remember them, um, I'll come and journal them all down. Because there's always a message later in life that I can connect. It's like, geez, I had a dream about that. You know, it's almost like foreboding. Um, and then I'll go back and I'm like, when was that? And then I'll look, I'm like, oh my God, there it is. That's what happened. You know, what happened? In, it's like telling the future. Right. So it's cool. important to like pay attention, pay attention to everything, because if, if you don't write down your dreams, you're not going to remember them later on. So it's mm-hmm. kind of, I think that's kind of important if you're trying to discover what messages are being presented to you. <laughs> you're such a cool chick, Peggy. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I'm going to try to do that. Um, I don't have a good camera to do that with. I'll have to try it with my cell phone, but send me those pictures. I want to see those. So yeah. Now, here's another, the other question I had for you. So we know that this quantum field is a divine consciousness um, or a quantum consciousness. So do you feel that like going through the QR bed or the HHS system, that it's going to actually have some sort of, they say it's the satellite pinging back and forth. But do you feel like it's more than that? Like, I feel like it's going to be a divine consciousness more than just a 3D physical satellite, but it's bigger and way more expansive. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's it's a collective consciousness. And if you're aware, it's already happening. I mean, if you're aware that there's no difference between the energies of you and I, we are connecting right now. And I think, um, I think as the frequencies and the dimensions change in this world, um, the device is definitely going to help this transition and going to help make those connections because we're going to be freer. We're going to be more detoxed and those channels are going to be open. Some of those have been blocked. And sometimes I think maybe they were blocked on purpose um, by different means and different entities and different governments and different things. And as those things get clear, then the device, I think what we have now is, you know, the quantum twine wave device, the smaller devices. So they're doing it very subtly. I think it's going to be on steroids when we have the HHS. And I think it's going to, you know, skyrocket after that when we go through the QR. Um, I feel it in my intuition. I feel it just all of it. Um, and you know, you can just sit with your QT device, put your hands around it, um, you know, feel, get used to feeling those things. You know, you can feel, um, you know, even energy, you know, some people call it Reiki, Chi, uh, all those, but you can just do this and you're feeling like almost repelling uh, magnets, you know, when you put the two cells together, how you get that repelling. But you can do this with the device and, and interact with it. Um, just communicate with it. I mean, if these AI devices, for example, our cell phones can interact with us, has anyone ever told you you can't interact with it? You just assume that you can't talk back and like talk back to it. No one said, no, you can't do this. We'll do it. See what happens. (laughs) I got a funny one for you. So I was, um, I was having Siri call my mom and I was driving and somebody read a, ran a red light in front of me. And I used an expletive, potty mouth. And Siri goes, do you kiss your mother with that mouth? <laughs> I'm like, what? So anyway, you're right. They do interact with us. <laughs> so then like plug it with, oh, I want to, you know, if you're going to interact with me, then, and you're going to send me advertisements, why don't you send me nice, lovely, peaceful advertisements? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you get the weirdest advertisements coming up and you're like, uh, yeah, you're listening. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. I have proof of that one too. So, but I love the idea of interacting with this device because it has to me, it's not the AI that our cell phones are programmed with. It is the quantum consciousness that to me is going to be empowering our entire new world. Right. Yes. So it is a different energy. 
um, than the AI technology. You know, I made that comparison, but totally different, totally different things that, you know, you feel that energy in the quantum twine wave and it is the collective consciousness. You know, it's going to be all of it, but just hold it, feel it, get your senses used to this new energy and your body will start to become alive. And um, it's, it's, it's amazing. We are in, oh, oh, we were brought here at this point in time for a purpose. And, you know, I just feel so gifted. I think there were tons of souls waiting in line to come down at this time. And we were chosen. We said, no, it's got to be you. It's got to be you. It's got to be you. Oh, God, you just gave me chills everywhere. Dr. Yes. Northrup said, you know, Dr. Christiane Northrup, yeah. she said that the fact that you are here in this great awakening is as rare as a hair on an ox. And we are here. We are here. <laughs> I know. It's so it's fun. Right? <laughs> well, so really like last question. So you, what are you most excited? Like just the single most thing that is just jazzing you up about what's to come if you were to look into the future a year from now knowing what you know what are you most excited about i have some special energies and i uh i'm excited about those being expanded upon and helping so many people just i have that the helper syndrome in me for sure and um we are going to make a difference we are going to make such a big difference. And when you, whether you're helping an elderly woman across the street, you have, you feel good about it afterwards, you know, or you pick up that piece of trash that no one else is picking up just to clean up our environment. You know, it's like, you know, you're doing a good thing. This is, this is going to, this is huge. I am excited that we are going to make I am going to make, you are going to make such a big difference in humanity. This changes everything. It changes everything. And it's going to make, gosh, there's a lot of people out there suffering. It just breaks my heart that so many people are suffering from, the, from cancers, diabetes, you know, not even being able to walk. This is going to solve those things. And we are a part of it. And I just, it's just making a difference in people's lives. You know, mm -hmm. this can be as simple as that. It's going to be so and we're exciting. Gonna, yes. And we're going to be able to live longer, retain the knowledge. I mean, my goal, you know, Moses lived in the Bible and they talk about it till 900. My goal is to live to 900. I want to live to 900 and retain the knowledge that I have and be very functional at all levels, you know, all timelines and dimensions through all space time continuum and to be fully functioning on all of those and being able to help people and just, yeah. uh, it, it, it's, it's really exciting. It's I'm exciting. with you on that. Well, my darling, thank you so much for spending time with me, for sharing your awesome vision, your story, and looking forward to seeing you again on part two. Awesome. Thank you very much for all that you do. You're great.